Hi everyone, um, I've been after some lithium ion cells for quite some time now and today I finally got some. So I've got a big box full here. Well, I say a big box full, it's about 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters by 15 down, something like that. And this box contains laptop batteries. So let's have a look. I got this from a a laptop repair shop. Um, in fact, the closest one to my house um, in a town called Shotton. And um, yeah, it's a nice guy. I had a chat with him and um, explained what I was doing, and I bought these batteries off him. So, um, usually for people who are trying to extract lithium ion battery cells, usually you'd want all the, t the same type, you know, all the same type of battery, and that's not what I've got, but you know. I don't really, I don't really care too much. I'm only learning, so let's give this a go. So I tell you what, I'm going to move the box out of the way, and I'll pick a couple out, and then we can inspect them on the um, on the the worktop here. Okay, so I picked four out, and let's have a look. These two look the same, or very similar. And these two look the same or similar. So let's have a quick look. Move these out of the way for a minute. So the first one. Let's zoom in here. So it's HP. Um, if I just move this along. Let's see. There's the important bit there. Okay, so so this battery here, ten point eight volts, forty seven watt hour. I'd have to get my calculator to work that that out. I prefer to read this in um milliamp hour or amp hour. But um I don't know, it seems that it's Six cell, so there's a three point six, three point six, and a three point six, which is eleven point one, or you know ten point eight, depending. And that row will be obviously these three cells will be in series, and there'll be three cells in series here, and then these two banks will be in parallel. Let's look at the next one. Lenoge, Lenoge or something, never heard of that, but anyway, 11.1 volts, 5200 milliamp hour, so that's, that will be again, three cells, three cells, and then two in parallel, so, these will be, um, let's, let's see, these will be 2500, 2600 milliamp hour cells, so again, there'll be six of those, Zoom out again. Give us the next battery. This one is let's see, it doesn't say much about this one actually. It doesn't say anything about that one, but it'll probably be like the previous one. Probably. Let's have a look at this one. This one says 10.8 volts, 4,400 milliamp hour. So there, again, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'll both be in parallel, and there'll be 2,200 milliamp hour cells. I've got various cells, so that's just four batteries. But I've got all sorts of different cells, all sorts of different shapes and sizes. But these ones, just zoom out a bit. I've got these ones here, which. I may be able to see that's probably the same thing again. Let's have a quick look at this one. 4,320 milliamp hour. That's a bit odd, but okay. All sorts of cells. 
and I've got two long ones here. Um, let's see what these say. 14.4 volts. So that's that's actually four cell. One, two, three, four. There are four cells in that one. And this one. 14.463 watt hour. Again, I, I I haven't got a calculator and I don't know worked out at the moment, but um, these will probably be 2,200 milliamp hour cells, something like that. Okay, so I've got these batteries. Now I have to extract the cells. 